feel into the subtle body and how areas may feel compared to others perhaps energetically physically maybe there's a little bit of stiffness maybe it's a little cool like here where I'm practicing this morning maybe you're in a lovely sunny warm environment whatever that experience is notice that on your skin feel into the fabric of your skin feel into the contours of your muscles and then dive deep into the web of your nerves and freely flow love and gratitude through your nervous system for your wonderful incredible body and then we'll shift up into tabletop position shoulders over his hips over knees make it nice and stable so first we'll press away from the earth pretend there's this lift in the heart space inside the rib cage so that the heart is rising to the sky and the buoyancy of the breath in your lungs is lifting you as well cow the spine by tilting the tailbone opening the chest and looking up stretching your eyeballs as well ground your toenails then reverse that continue to ground your toenails but draw the belly button in and cap the spine press away from the earth inhale through to the cow and exhale through to the cat so allowing yourself now to coordinate the body and the breath tuning into the subtleties of the movement along your spine and encourages free flow of uh, information, fluidity. And my regular practitioners know that I like to move in a way called sexy cat, just moving around through the neck and the shoulders. Permission granted here to tune into the pleasure of moving in a way that feels really wonderful in your body allowing you to change the orientation of your hands, getting funky in the wrists and the elbows. In some cases, you might even momentarily tuck the toes and send the hips back towards the heels, take a toe stand, encouraging the soles of your feet to activate and warm up for your day, especially if you're about to begin it like I am. Maybe come forward and paddle the tops of the feet on the mat. I'm going to bring the inner knees and inner ankles to touch so we can sit back on our heels. And then we're flicking the hands out and lifting them up in the same motion and continuing the flick but going down. And I just want to get all of that sort of ickiness perhaps from the overnight slumber out and begin your day with a little bit of movement. And maybe we can coordinate an inhale on the way up and an exhale on the way down. One more like that. Inhale on the way up. And then exhale on the way down. And then do like flick the water off your thumb with all the fingers. So up on the inhale. And you can hear that little flicky noise when you do it. Getting those fingers nice and warmed up. And maybe just one more up. And then one more down. Come back to your tabletop position and one more stretch for the fingers and the wrists. So nice and stable, lift your thumbs, then lift the palms, bring your weight forward under four fingers of each hand, hinge to your first row of knuckles. You slowly lift the palms up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Palms down, thumbs down, sway from left to right. And then measure up your down dog by placing your hands a whole handprint down your mat away from you. Tuck your toes and then send your hips back and lift them up to the sky. Early in the morning here, so tighter hamstrings, cooler body. So maybe more generous bends in our knees. But the pedals of the feet, the windscreen wipers of the heels, you might even want to do a three leg dog by lifting up one leg at a time and just finding a little bit of movement while I tune in with the cues for your practice here. So spread the fingers, ground the knuckles, lengthen the arm bones and the musculature around them as you recruit your shoulder joints into active motion. You've got a neutral wrist, lifted hips, belly button toned in, and I'm gonna take my high heels with big bends in the knees early here in a cool morning start. Then a slow tiptoe forward to the top of your mat. 
feet are hip width upon arrival. Hold your elbows and fold forward. Maybe in the moment here, a bit of a sway, a bit of a nod, even a bounce in the body could feel nice. And once again, I'm taking a big bend in the knees. I'm letting my tummy arrive on my thighs and having a big drape of the upper body off my hips and letting all of that fluidity waterfall down my spine, unblocking the blockages, unsticking the stickiness, dangling the arms now and taking an opportunity to really hinge, hinge, hinge off the hips. Super slowly, with an inhale breath, we start to roll up the spine and use that inhale with the buoyancy of the breath in your lungs to help unfurl you here. So you unroll and then bring the shoulders up to the ears and at the top of your mat, stand super proud, arms along beside your body, fingers spread wide. Lift the toes so you press the four corners of the feet down and then return the toes gently to the mat tone the muscles of the legs, neutral pelvis, belly in, ribs contained, collarbones wide, crown of head lifted, but a little draw in of the chin towards the sternum. So just finding a little bit of room there, arms continue to expand, expand down the sides of your body. So stand tall in the presence and the firmness of your power and your body. And then step the big toes to touch, bring your hands to heart center, and maybe set an intention for your day. Even close down your eyes. A lovely little morning salutation. Perhaps if Ujjayi breath will serve you, please feel free to activate that here. And with a beautiful big positive breath, let's rise to the sky together. Inhale, arms up, look up, lift up, and then exhale, fold to the earth, and melt the stress and fatigue away. Halfway lift on the inhale, we'll step back to high plank, exhale breath, and hold our high plank nice and long and strong. Now feel free to drop to the knees if you need, but hold the plank in this expression if you can. Same kind of concepts here as Tadasana. We're long and strong in the body, shoulders over wrists, crown of head forward, little draw of the chin to the chest. Warm up our triceps before we start to move, drop the knees, cross the ankles, draw the heels to our buttocks, lengthen forward, inhale, bend the elbows, lower halfway down, exhale. Five, so little tricep push-ups, four, three, two, and one. Uncross the legs, lower the tops of the feet, lower the chest and the chin, and find a cobra pose to warm up our spines. Press the toenails down, lift the knees, draw the belly button in and point the elbows back. And then return through tabletop, downward facing dog. Lovely work. Let's move through some salutations now. Walk forward to the top of your mat, and a halfway lift on an inhale, crown ahead forward. With your exhale breath, fold. Inhale to the sky, lift up, raise up, palms touch, and then exhale, return to the earth. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to high plank. Knees, chest, and chin. Exhale, breath, and then inhale to cobra. Exhale, tabletop, down dog in the same breath. Walk forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sky, rise up, reach up together and be the change we wanna see in the world as we fold to the earth. Exhale, halfway lift, inhale. Lower the right foot, step the right foot back, lower the right knee. Inhale, look up, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, frame the front foot and then step back to high plank. Round two, let's take knees, chest and chin, exhale. Inhale the cobra, exhale downward facing dog, lift the hips to sky, chest to thighs, look back at big toes. Hold there for the inhale and then walk forward on the exhale breath. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Sky, inhale, earth, exhale breath. Half lift, inhale. Left foot back, left knee lowers, exhale, breath. Palms touch, look up, lift up, inhale. Frame the front foot, step back to high plank. Knees, chest, chin, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
hold to the inhale and wait for the exhale breath lift the right leg inhale heel to butt knee to nose step the right foot to right thumb follow it by the left foot so both feet are at the top of the mat halfway lift inhale exhale fold sky inhale and then earth exhale halfway lift inhale plant the hand step the right foot back follow it by the left foot now knees chest chin is there or high plank shift forward bend the elbows lower halfway down exhale tops of the feet shift onto the mat inhale upward facing dog and then roll over the toes downward facing dog let's do one more on the other side so left leg lift inhale heel to butt knee to nose step the left foot forward follow it by the right foot halfway lift inhale fold exhale sky inhale earth exhale breath halfway lift inhale plant the hands left foot back right foot back high plank belly button in low plank exhale breath elbow skim the rib cage inhale tops of feet on the mat up dog roll over the toes downward facing dog walk forward to yogi squat so step the feet nice and wide bend the knees and place the hands at the heart space transitioning down onto our buttocks so reach the hands forward for a counterbalance to start to tilt back and then gracefully sit down <sighs> lengthen the legs out in front of you inhale hands up rise up together palms touch exhale fold now feel free to hold the pinky toes the big toes the backs of the ankles whatever serves you here some of you like an energetic sort of interlace of the fingers around the th big toe thumb sealing the grip belly button in heart forward others might feel just a lovely fold serves them there so yogi's choice we'll take five more breaths intense fold here a lot of texture, a lot of uh, sensation down the backs of the legs. Last three. Two. And one. Bend the right knee, right foot into the upper left thigh. Hands up, rise up. Now, as you fold down your left foot, maybe hold the left leg, I beg your pardon, hold the left foot, the ankle, same kind of concept here. Even some of you might like to crisscross the hands. That can feel a, a nice little option there. So hands, the forearms crisscross over the foot to hold the fingers around the opposite side of the foot. A beautiful expression we call rock star. So your right hand lifts up, plants behind you, points the fingers away from you. You come onto right shin and then lift the belly button up as you come onto left foot at the bottom of the mat and reach the left hand overhead. Look back. Let's open the throat, open the mouth and ah, lovely work. Sit the buttocks back down and switch it over. Left knee bends, left foot inside, right upper thigh, square back, uh, chest down the right leg, lift the hands up, rise up, and then roll down the right leg, taking the choices that serve you. Last few moments. And then that left hand lifts up, watch it rise overhead, plant behind you, come onto left shin, lift the belly button up, reach the right hand overhead, and then sit back down onto your buttocks, cross your legs in front of you, so right shin would have naturally wanted to cross in front of the left, because the left should have still, still been bent. Uh, chest forward, twist around to the right with the left hand, right knee, lengthen on the inhale twist and rinse on the exhale 
As you come back to center, left hand to left hip, and then walk the left hand out to the left, right hand up, bend at the elbow and find the left ear and gently draw the head, not tug, not pull, not force, just gently draw the head over to the right. And then we'll just take all that on the other side, but first of all, plant the hands on the mat, tilt back and crisscross the legs, so opposite cross, and we'll be going around to the left, so right hand, left knee, left hand behind you. Lengthen on the inhale, twist and rinse on the exhale. And then we come back through our center, right hand finds our right hip next to the, on the mat, walks out to the right, left hand up, bend at the elbow and find the right ear and gently draw it over to the left. <clears throat> and then as you release that, come back to center, a couple of little shoulder rolls. One direction normally feels quite natural and then the other direction can feel quite clunky. Give that a go. Hands to heart center, chin to chest. Well done, thanks for your practice. Thumbs to your third eye, loka, samasta, sukinu, bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Greet this incredible version of, your, of yourself and the remainder of this wonderful day with the Hindi word, namaste. Thanks everyone. If you're practicing it in the morning, have a wonderful day. If you're practicing it any other time, I hope your rest of your day is just as wonderful. Bye for now. Thanks very much.